Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Karkadash. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the speckled bird. It's all the Israelites look like the heathen nations that are scattered across the four quarters of the earth. And peace and salutations to the, all the brothers that are out there on the highways and byways doing the work and magnifying the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah in these last days and waking up the remnant, the elect. Um, I want to do a video on uh, or kind of give like a uh, update of what is going on, you know, where uh I live at, you know, it's a lot of major um weather, crazy weather patterns have been taking place, you know, and where I live at in Kentucky, um today, you know, I'm I'm currently, you know, at the plantation working for Esau, and uh. I'm not doing my normal job because there's supposed to be like an ice storm, but that's what I have on the screen. And, um, you know, if anybody has lived in Kentucky, you know, um, if you lived here before, you know the history of what happened, you know, back in 2009. I, I remember a little bit of it, you know, I was a kid, but I remember how bad it was. It was really bad, you know. But um, this is the Lord, you know, um, showing his judgment you know, and unleashing, you know, a, his power, you know, because so, you know, it's, it's, it's the Lord's, you know, and he works many wonders, man, many, uh, works, you know, that you can't explain, man, you know, but I remember back in 2009, like, you could literally, there was ice everywhere, you know, there was ice all on the the light poles. There, you know, there was everything was covered in ice. Basically, like if you if you could think of any TV show or movie that you watched where everything was covered in ice, that's literally how it was. And I can I can remember this. Going back to when I was a kid, like when I was a child, like in grade school, I remember this. You know, and they were saying that you know uh, Esau was saying that it's supposed to be as bad as it was back then, but you know currently right now, you know. Me at being at the plantation, it ain't nothing going on. It's raining, you know, stuff like that. But they said it was supposed to ice and snow and stuff like that. And uh, I haven't been doing anything all day because um, I'm supposed to put down, you know, salt or whatever. You know, if you live in an area where it snows, you know what that's for. It's just to put down on the roads to basically help clear up the roads and, you know, stop them from freezing and, you know, stuff like that. You know, and that's not my normal job that I do at the plantation or whatever. It's just something that they want us to do today. But I just wanted to make this video, you know, and bring out some scriptures since I have the time to an opportunity to do so. Um, I'm going to read this this article. It says, what to do if you lose power during the Kentucky ice storm, right? Well, you can't really prepare, you know. And I got this scripture lined up. You can't prepare, man. The Lord is, is who's going to prepare you. This is Psalm 74, and verse 17. It says, Thou hast set all of the borders of the earth, and thou hast made summer and winter. So the Lord, the Lord, he's the one that's going to uh, keep you or prepare you for an ice storm. You know, he's going to give you the, the wisdom or knowledge of what to do, you know. You ain't, you ain't, you know, you ain't escaping no ice storm, no blizzard, you know. You ain't, you ain't getting out of there unless the Lord allow you to, bro, you know. But I'm going to read, you know, some of this article. Let me see what Esau got in store. It says, here's what to do if you lose electricity. lg and &E and KU recommend keeping warm air in and cool air out. It says, um, seal leaks and gaps around the home with caulk, spray foam or weather stripping. Make sure warm air registers are not blocked by drapes or furniture. You should also have an emergency kit or hand with a battery powered radio, flashlights for everyone in the family, fresh batteries for any devices and a first aid kit and over the counter prescription medications. Right. And I wanted to bring this out and read some of this because. You know, like I said, back in 2009, you know, there was an a ice storm, you know, actual ice storm that actually happened, you know, around that time. And I remember it, and it was that bad. I remember that the power was out for, like, at least a week. It was, it was a while. 
You know, and I think you know, um, where where I lived there at the time, um, I don't I don't think it, where we lived there, it was out there long, but it was out at least a couple of days. It was out the power was out for like two or three days, maybe three or four days, almost a week, but it wasn't a complete five or six days. You know, it, it was bad back in two thousand nine. But hey, the Lord, you know, Yahweh Shmuel He's in control of everything, man. You know, He's in control of everything, man. So, you know. Like I said, uh, you know, currently right now, you know, at the plantation, it's not, it's just raining, you know, it's not, um, ice is real bad or anything like that, you know, where I'm at, but it's just raining, it's, it's supposed to be like a mix of snow and ice, so like, sleet, you know, it's where, you know, you have snow and uh, ice come together basically, and it's like, all coming down at the same time, so it's like wet and icy at the same time. You know, and eventually it's going to turn into ice anyway, you know, all together. Um, you know, that's why they said, you know, it's going to be an ice storm. But it's, you know, it's, it's 12 o'clock right now. That ain't, ain't nothing happened yet. So, and that's why I was saying, hey, the Lord, the Lord is in control of everything, man. The Lord, the Lord is the one who you need to fear. The Lord, you know, you don't fear an you know, uh, ice storm, man, you know. Probably go out, hey. You know, the power of your power go out, man. But you know, of course, if you if you got you know things like that, you know, uh, batteries and flashlights, things that's gonna allow you to uh, survive, you know, on the uh, and you know live and stuff like that. Yeah, you use them. You know what I'm saying? You know, I would do the same thing if you know if I was in that situation today. Obviously, if I had a flashlight, you know, and stuff like that, I would use the same thing if my power went out. You know. But, like, say, for some reason, like, you know, when there's, like, an EMP attack and the power gets shut off everywhere. Because when the EMP attack hits, that shuts off all forms of communication. And it doesn't matter what you have. Any forms of electricity. It don't matter if it's not connected to anything. It, it somehow, I don't know, somehow affects it to where it will shut, shut it off. And, like, like I said, a flashlight or a battery and it just won't work. That's how powerful an EMP attack is. Like a, a bomb or something going off. Um... You know, and I want to bring, you know, some, you know, just some scriptures out, you know, of how uh, great the Lord is, man. Um, get some, I'm going to get something. So lucky, um. Hmm. Um. This is um Job chapter thirty six and I'll start at verse 22. It says, Behold, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai exalted by his power, who teacheth like him. Verse 23 says, Who hath enjoined him his way, or who can say thou hast wrought iniquity? Verse 24 says, Remember that thou magnify his work which men behold. Every man may see it, man may behold it afar off. But Yahweh Shemuel Shai is great, and we know him not, neither can the number of his years be searched out. You know, hey, there's no there's no timeline with, with the most high, man. He he just is. That's his name, Yahweh. You know, Yah meaning he and you know Hawah meaning is to be. You know, he is. And uh this is verse 27. It says, For he maketh small the drops of water, they pour down rain according to the vapor thereof. Which the clouds do drop and distill upon man abundantly. And that's what, you know, that's currently raining right now, man. You know, that's the spirit, man. You know, while I'm at the plantation, it's raining right now. And who's doing that? The Lord is doing that. And, and of course, we do know that, you know, uh, Esau, Edom, they got, you know, the heart machine where they can, you know, they can manipulate the elements. And, but that's still the Lord giving them the power, man. I'm not going to sit here and give these devils that, that credit. Because who gave them the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to create these things? The Lord did. 
You know, it's ultimately the Lord allowed it to, uh, to uh, you know, reign. You know, through whatever they created, because He's the one that gave the regards to create these machines. You know. So um, I want to get something else too. This is Job to the thirty-seventh verse. Um, six. It says, "For He said to the stove, Be thou on the earth." Likewise to the small rain and to the great rain of his strength. Do you see that? So you can uh you can you know you can apply that to like a, a thunderstorm, you know, or uh a blizzard, you know, when it's raining when it's raining real bad or when it's just snowing and you know there's wind going everywhere and it's, it's the snow is piling up feet after feet. That's that's a blizzard, you know. And, you know, y'all know what a thunderstorm is. Hey, the Lord is in control of all these things, man. You ain't a come but prayer, man. Unless the Lord allow you to prepare, you know, because hey, the, the Lord can have it to where like you know the power go out, you know, um, or you live at or something like that, and it, you know the uh, the the people that you know control the power in wherever city you live in, you know, they can't cut it back on. The Lord can do that, man. You know, I'm, I'm I want to get this in uh, I think it's Proverbs chapter twenty one. You know, it's it's, it's gonna be a small short le lesson. This ain't gonna be a uh, long lesson. I just wanted to bring this out because I, I had the time to, and you know, I just thought about it through the spirit of power. You have us from Yosha. Um, this is Proverbs chapter twenty-one and verse thirty-one. It says, "The horse is prepared against the dead battle, but safety is of the Lord." You know, so it don't matter. <clears throat> you know, if you got all those things, ultimately, you know. It, like I said, the Lord can have it to where somehow, some way, you know, uh, you shoot like, you know, um, um, let, let's say for example, like your power goes out and everything is literally frozen, like everything is ice. You can't even you can't even touch the actual object, you know, itself. It's just covered in ice. Like, everything outside is like ice. So you can you know you can go outside and start skating. You know, and uh, yeah, your power's out in your house, and you know, uh, you, 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 the, the power doesn't work, and there is an EMP attack at the same time. You you finished, <laughs> you know, and the the uh, the, uh the, you know, and say the stores are closed down or something like that, you know. And this these are things that is to come, you know, things that are to come, you know, worldwide, because these are the times that we're living in, the time of um, uh, the hour of temptation, man, you know. And I, I always look at these things, you know, even though it might seem small, but hey, you know, hold on. Matter of fact, um, just like um, two months ago, um, there was a tornado out here in Kentucky. And that made, that made the national news. That was on CNN. So everybody in the uh, United States, in Babylon the Great, they heard about that, man. That was in uh, Kentucky, but it wasn't in the part that I live in. And it was, it was devastating to them Edomites, to them so-called white people, man. It was devastating to them. And they can't, they ain't building that town back up. I hope, I hope they don't, you know, be able to get it built back up because that's a, you know, so-called prehistoric, you know, old town or whatnot. You know, you know, usually when cities and towns like that get destroyed, you know, it don't take, it don't take one day to build a city, man. So it, it's going to take a long time. And, you know, us in this truth, we know this society is collapsing and Esau, there's no return for Esau once he goes down. So, I'm pretty sure they won't be able to build back up that town, man. It's like I said, you, you can't build no city or no town in no one day, you know, or, you know, one week or a month or, you know, a couple of months. That whole town got destroyed. You know, wherever it was in Kentucky, I can't m name it right now, but, you know, it got destroyed by the tornado, man. And I, and I did a video on that a couple of months back, you know. And uh, we had a, a, another um, snowstorm, too, um, about... Probably like two or three weeks ago, almost a month ago, we had another one. So the, the Lord is showing out in these last days, man. Um, let me get that scripture. Uh, second edges where He said, "I have long time hope in my peace, but I will now um cry like a uh, woman in travail." I'm uh, paraphrasing it. Long time hope in my peace. And I'm going to close out because it, it, it's just, a, you know, it wasn't going to be a long lesson. Time. Hold. My. Peace. 
This is Isaiah 42 and um, verse 14. It says, I have long time holding my peace, and I have been still, and I have refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman, and I will destroy and devour at once, you know? And that's what the Lord is about to do, man. You know, starting off with these um judgments, you know. That's what he's doing, man. He's about to uh let his judgment ring in full full forth. I'm gonna see if I can get some pictures and then, you know, Lord willing to close up. Um But like I said, you know, where I'm at it's not it ain't really it's nothing really happening, it's just raining. Perfect. Two thousand nine. This is what happened. You can see the whole the whole tree is covered in ice, man. The ground was icy, like it was literally like ice, like a skating rink. Like outside. You couldn't even drive the car on the on the on the uh road. This is 2009. You know? And I, I remember this. This is how bad it was. Now this, this is from 2003, but I'm talking about 2009. This is how bad it was. You know, power lines knocked down, trees knocked down, cars not starting. You know what I'm saying? This is how bad it was. You know, but, you know, we know, us in this truth, we know that this is the judgment of Yahweh from Yahweh Shai, you know. But I'm going to close out, you know. That's all I'm going to bring out. All praises to Yahweh from Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakadash, the double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the speckled bird and to all the Israelites who like the heathen nations that are scattered across the four corners of the earth a peace and salutations to all the brothers and sisters I, I don't really mention sisters a lot but uh, I'm going to mention it now and sisters that are watching and listening and learning to you I say shalom, shalom, wa, ba, ba, ba.